Greetings, I'm Mr. Sean. Welcome to my channel. And today is a Beyond the Cookbook video where I explore the reasons why I can't make a flaky pie dough. Three ingredients, flour, water, and dang it, a stick of butter. I don't know why. I have done it several times and I have failed every one. So I not understood. But not only have I succeeded today in making it, I made some more Grassu's homemade meat pies. Are they good? But I've also made something else. Let's get into it. The workout flaky pie dough recipe is two and one quarter cups of flour, one stick of salted butter, diced, one quarter cup water. The recipe instructs to place half the butter in to blend it in first. The author then states to flatten the remaining butter pieces into butter flakes, but I am refraining to do that for reasons I'll explain later. So my first question about why I am failing is, is it just me? In my research of other flaky pie dough recipes and various methods to use to make them, I came across some very important pieces of information. One, heat is bad for pie dough. This means the water, the butter, should be as cold as possible while working with it. This is why I refrain from flattening the butter, to not impart heat onto them. In preparation for this video, I kept the butter in the fridge and placed water into the fridge and left them there until I was ready to begin. After I started to work the butter into the flour, I decided to put the water back into the fridge until I was ready for it. Two, there are various methods to blend butter and flour together for pie doughs. In my hand is a pastry blender, which I'll be using to keep my hot hands out of the dough. There are more pie crust making methods. Thanks to a blogger named American Heritage Cooking, she has a wonderful website and a YouTube channel, which will be in the description below. She only made six videos for her whole channel, but they pertain to five different ways of making pie crusts. Now, Chelsea Monroe Cassell of the Warcraft Cookbook instructs to hand mix the ingredients. So from the American Heritage Cooking videos, I looked at the three non-mechanical methods, reviewed them, and I chose to use the pastry blender. Now the next question I had was, is it the recipe? Now that I chose my non-heat producing method, I began looking closer at the recipe. I find that comparing it to three other ones, there is one big difference. The quantity of water. Going to the equivalent amount of flour in the workout recipe, the water needs to be double. After adding in one quarter cup of chilled water, I could see that there was too much flour and butter particulates that were not combining. So I poured another cup of cold water and slowly added one or two tablespoons at a time. Here's my short montage. Eleven tablespoons in total for the dough to finally come together. This equates to another one half cup of water and three sixteenths of a cup. So, in total, using three quarters of a cup for the workout recipe makes this equivalent to other flaky pie dough recipes that I found. Certainly, as a cook, if something doesn't seem right, as was in this case, where the material isn't becoming a dough, adding more liquid slowly was the best thing to do. When I make this recipe in the future, I will begin by adding one half cup water first, then slowly add the remaining one quarter cup rather than all at once. And if needed, I'll add that three sixteenths cup or three tablespoons. The third important note about making a pie dough is 
the less you mess with the dough, the best it will be. I may have slightly overmixed it because of how slowly I added the water, tablespoons at a time, but that was still a large improvement over my first pie dough, which was really hard as a brick. Now to finish this off, you make a pie dough to be used in the other recipes. I decided to make Grasso's homemade meat pie with some substitutions. Chelsea does suggest to try that in her recipe and instructs a substitution ratio of 1 to 1. The original recipe called for chuck steak, ground beef, and ground pork. I subbed for 1 pound chicken breast, 1 pound ground turkey, and 1 pound russet potatoes. I followed the recipe as before, so check out my other review containing the recipe. Link will be in the description and at the end of this video. When I rolled out the dough, it was thicker than it needed to be, so I still have some work to do on my rolling method, but this made me think, how else could I enjoy a meat pie? How about a handheld pie? So I rolled out one of the pie crust tops, filled it with the remaining bird meat. I will admit that I, I should have used egg wash on top of the meat pies, which would have made them look oh so prettier in the end. So don't forget to do that. For the purpose of this video, I really needed to work on my pie dough making skills, and now I'll work on perfecting them down the road. Welcome back. I can make a freaking flaky pie dough. So I want to cut this open real quick here, so I can be able to show you how wonderful this idea it was to use some extra dough to make a little sandwich, a little torch, a little handheld. Oh, that, 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 that's beautiful. That is just beautiful. I mean, you can see it's flaky, it's nice and crumbly. It's still, it's pretty stiff still. Until I probably bite into it, it's going to fall, fall out all over the place. Hmm. Still holding up. So, <laughs> oh yeah. I need to make this a little better. I can definitely work on the technique better. But, I know how to make the dough. That is the only thing I wanted to accomplish today, quite frankly. <laughs> I want to come out saying, yes, I can make flaky pie dough. Do you need some pie dough? I'll make you a whole bunch of batches. Thank you for joining me this evening. I hope you liked this video. Please comment down below. Please hit the like button if you liked it. Please subscribe so you can find out more videos of Beyond the Cookbook like this one. Next week, I have some new recipes. Some new recipes I want to add to the Warcraft Cookbook. My own originals. Sort of semi-original, I suppose, since it's from this game. Anyways, but also, some let's plays are coming up and some other good stuff. Stay tuned, subscribe, ciao!